Welcome to this quick and easy guide on creating a bootable USB drive for installing Windows 10. Whether you are setting up a new PC or reinstalling Windows, I will walk you through each step using Rufus, making the process simple and hassle free. Let's get it started. First of all, we need to download Rufus software to creating a bootable USB flash drive from the ISO file, I mean ISO file, which is the Windows file installation. So go to Google and after that search for Rufus. As you can see here, just type and enter. And in the first result, you will see the official website, which is rufus.ie. So click on it and go to the website. And on the main page, go to the downside and you will see the download tab here. So you can see the uh, actually variety of version here and depends on your system structure, uh, try to download the best version. For me actually, I will click on the standard version, which is X64. So download the file and after that, in the next we will open up it. Now after the file is completely downloaded, go to the actually download folder and after that right click on the uh, Rufus, select run as administrator and wait. Here you can see the interface of uh, Rufus program and uh, there is a some option I will tell you each of them and the uses. So here the first option is device. As you can see, I have nothing here because I didn't plug my USB drive here. So just uh, plug your flash drive here. And as you can see now, I have a, uh, actually something on device, which is uh, actually my flash drive. Uh, it's, it's about actually eight gigabytes. So we need at least eight gigabyte flash drive. On the boot section tab, we have a four option, disk or image, non-bootable, MS stock or free doc. Just actually, we continue by the default, which is disk or ISO file. Now on the select actually tab, just click on it and select your ISO file or ISO file. Now select your installation file or ISO file for, for Windows 10. Actually, if you don't guys uh, know how to download this file, I have a full version video. I will tag the card here and you can see the video and down, download the exact file. On the image option tab, we have a two options, a standard Windows installation or Windows to go. If you want to install a specific version of Windows 10, for example, Enterprise or Pro, uh, actually continue by Windows to go or, or if you want to actually select it later on the installation process, just click on the standard Windows installation. Now on partition scheme, we have two options, MBR or GPT. Selecting this option related to your hard drive partition style. So I will tell you how to find it. And actually I have a, another full video about that. You can search on my channel and see the full version. Now, now go to uh, actually search and type run. Now here click on the open. And after that type here disk mgmt.msc as you can see here guys disk mgmt.msc after that click on the ok and you will see this windows now guys you can see your uh, actually hard drive here if you have two or three you can see here and the hard drive which you want to install your windows just right click here after you select your hard drive, right click here and go to properties. After that, volumes tab. And here you can see your partition scheme or your partition style. As you can see, I have a GPT here. Wherever your partition style or partition scheme is GPT or MBR, just actually find it out and select on the Rufus option. For example, another my hard drive, properties, volumes tab. And here again, I have a GPT partition style. So, Again, back to the Rufus and depends on your partition size, select it. And on the volume label, it's nothing. Just select the uh, actually name for your flash drive, file system, and TFS. And on the cluster size, we will continue by the default. Now, select on the start. And here, do not touch anything. Just click on the OK. You have some actually extra, extra option here. Just click on the OK. And here, you will see the message here. 
If you have guys any important data on your flash drive, please copy it and uh, actually uh, paste it and save it on the safe place. Because uh, actually it will remove all of the data which are in this actually uh, flash drive. After that just click on the OK and wait about 30 minutes or 45 minutes. Actually it depends on your uh, system structure or actually your system hardware. It will take uh, and actually I will skip the uh, this time because don't waste your time so after that if you see ready word here it means that our uh, bootable usb flash drive now is ready to use and uh, we will close the rufus and after that just uh, actually see everything is ready and good just go to your flash drive check the actually system file which is all okay so just we need to restart your system and after that go to your BIOS page and try to actually boot your system by your this flash drive and after that try to uh, install Windows 10. Guys, I have a full video about how to install Windows 10 on your PC which is about A to Z from 0 to 100. So if you are interested about how to install Windows 10, I have a full video on my channel which I actually mentioned the card here and you will see the cover here and you can go to my channel and see the full video and it has a full information about how to backing up your PC, uh, how to create a bootable flash drive and uh, actually uh, Windows 10 installation process. Full video guys. We are finished here guys. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech reviews and recommendations. As always, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next one.